We're going to install some duct work in this part of this restaurant. They're opening up the walls here. There's a really nice restaurant on the other side of this wall. And I'm showing you the before and after. That right there is the package unit back there. It's a four ton package gas that we put in. We did not put the duct work in. So before you go, ah, when you see it, we didn't put it in. But we're going to run some duct work from that package unit straight up, straight over, and then behind me through that wall. And I'm going to show you the before and after. And then maybe I'll show you this part of the restaurant when it's finished. Let's take a look. That's what was here before, that disgusting looking 16 inch flex. Glad we're getting rid of that. So we're going to take and remove all of this. We're definitely going to remove this weird looking return box. See, that's the old filter. And we're going to come straight up, straight over through that wall and then out the other side against this wall over this cooler. And then we're going to go through this hole, had the contractor frame that out so that I could run that duct through there. And then when we get through that wall, we're going to run the duct about right here. We'll have four six by 12 boots right here, custom made. And then over here, we're going to lay out two here, custom made boots, six by 12. And then we're going to put one boot here and one boot there. So we'll have eight total six by 12s. Those are eight inch lines and that should equal 1600 CFM. We got a four ton unit. This is the before, I'll show you the after. Guys are in the shop. There's the return box that they built, 20 by 30 return grill. Here's the custom boots. Really nice job on these boots. Look at that, they're insulated with the one inch liner. There's a six by 12 ceiling register in the middle. And these are so nice. And then they've got some straps here, probably for hanging the duck. They've got some drives for putting all the pieces together. And this is all the duck work. You know how much duck work it is, James? Uh, like 96 feet. 96 feet of duck. Wow. That's excellent, man. This looks like it's a 90. Awesome. A couple end caps couple transitions these are reducing transitions nice man looks good Nick this large rain shield is going to go away we're just gonna run square duck outside and we will make sure it's sealed properly but we're not gonna do this rain shield the guys spent one day in the shop building duck and one day on the job and look at this look at this Got all the trunk laid out across the whole building. Got the custom boots in. Looks like it reduces down before it goes through the dividing wall into the, what's gonna be seating area. So they're gonna install some more boots. I got, looks like one, two, three, six pieces of trunk that they've put together that are ready. Got the S's ready to put that trunk together and the drives looks good guys good job good job nick and james baby nick and james nick and james back on site pulling this rain shield apart who built this who built this large monstrosity look at that Look at those big pipes. We're going to get rid of those because we can do better. Can't we, Can't we James? Oh, up, buddy? <laughs> Can't we, Nick? <laughs> Let's hope. We can do better. We know we can. Come on now. Got the old pipe loaded up. These guys are making progress. Look at this. Wow. That looks amazing. Brother James, brother Nick. Oh, nice cold air. Looking good, looking great. Oh my. 
I didn't even see that. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. I ain't gonna lie. Looking good. Looking great. Put it on my plate. Wow. Look at this cover they built. Hemmed on the edges, double cross broken, sturdy. It's gonna go right there. Right, Brother James? It's gonna go right there. It's gonna be great, man. It's gonna be great. And then you had a cover for the outside part, which you can see, see that? One inch liner. And that's what's above this right here. Look at that. Man, that looks great. And then they're going to rerun the wire in. See this wire? This is no bueno. So they're going to take the hammer drill, drill a hole through the wall, and then come up right here to the box. Look at this. These guys fly, man. Look at that. That looks excellent. Let's go take a look inside. Got the wire coming in the box the right way. Look at that return. We're gonna figure out a place for that thermostat, but everything's sealed up. And look at that beautiful supply trunk. Let me know how good it looks in the comments. I know you like it, so. And then they've gotta come back and put one vent in the bathroom. And they're thinking a four by 10, four by 12, something like that. But, looks good showing you guys the after they opened up the restaurant and joined these two buildings so let me show you around opened up there opened up here look at this looking good look at that duck work there's where it goes through the wall and i'll show you over on the other side it looks good, doesn't it? In the kitchen, walking through the door here. This is kind of like storage. And then they've got the cooler there. They got it really organized. There's a little oven that we put in, put in the gas line for that. And there's where that duct comes through the wall. And there's where that duct comes through the bathroom. And then there's the return grill. Turned out really nicely. And then there is the ductwork. And there's the 4x10 ceiling grill. That was the kitchen area. Gives them a lot of space. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. I'll keep you cool if you let me.